Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you how to set up Google Ads conversion tracking for Shopify. Now keep in mind, this will be a really tutorial for tech savvy people. So if you're not really into tech, if you're not really familiar with it, then please make sure to get some help from really the experts right in the field. So uh, what we need to do first is, as you can see, we need to set up conversion tracking in Shopify. And basically we need the following tags, right? The global site tag and the event snippet. So if you not have yet set up conversion in Google ads, please visit how to create new conversion in Google ads. By the way, this is from Socium, uh, which are uh, basically an agency. So I'll basically go through here. So if you already have a conversion set up in Google ads that you would like to track, you can follow the instructions below. So you can sign in into Google ads. In the upper right corner, click the Tools section and under Measurement, click Conversions. This is how it will look like right here. Uh, select the conversion you would like to track, right, obviously. And then below Settings, there is an option for Tag Setup. You can expand that window right here, click on it. Then under Tag Setup, select Install the tag yourself. Under the Global Site Tag, uh, A, so you'll have two different options. A, if this is the first Google Ads conversion being set up in Shopify, you will select the global site tag isn't installed on all your HTML pages. B, if this is not the first Google Ads conversion being set up in Shopify, you will select the global site tag on all pages was installed already when you created another conversion and continue to step 14, which is below right here. But let's say this is your first uh, time that you are doing uh, the Google Ads conversion uh, and set up on Shopify. Now, what you will need to do is you will need to copy the global site tag right here. So just copy this, right? Uh, and uh, note the account number below should be a different for your tag. In another browser window, open your Shopify admin and click online store, then click actions, edit code, open your team liquid file, which is theme.liquid file. And then A, if this is your first time you've installed the global site tag, then paste the copied global site tag between head and head tags to apply the tag to every page in your store. This will not really mess up with your store because you're pasting in the head, you're not pasting it in the body. So just make sure you know that. Then open your checkout.liquid file. And then this is uh, again, if you go to your uh, edit code section, you will see checkout.liquid file. If this is your first time you've installed a global site tag, then paste the copied global site tag between the head and head tags to apply the tag to every page in your checkout. Now go back to the tag setup in Google Ads. Under the tag setup, select install the tag yourself. Under the event snippet, select page load. Copy your event snippet. Note the account number below should be different from your tag. So make sure uh, that this is again copied, but it's different from your tag right here. Uh, so it will be different, right? And then in uh, another browser window, open your Shopify admin again, click settings, go to checkout in the order processing section in the additional scripts text box, paste the event snippet. If you already have code in an additional script text box, then add the event snippet on a new line below the existing code. Now, if a customer reloads the checkout page, then Google Ads might record a duplicate conversion. That's why we're doing this to prevent duplicate conversions and add tags before and after the event snippet. So it triggers once per customer. So you can on the line before the snippet, you can paste this one. And on the line after the snippet, you can paste this one right here. Now the default currency is USD. If you don't sell in US dollars or want to uh, match the currency with your Shopify site, replace USD in the event snippet with currency right here and you know with your currency. And then the default transaction ID is blank to prevent Google Ads from recording duplicate conversions next to transaction ID replace with order number right here. Now, in order to make your conversions value dynamic, replace the line beginning with value with one of the following snippets. To exclude taxes and shipping from the conversion amount, replace it with this snippet right here. Or to include taxes ship, uh, and shipping in the conversion amount, replace it with this snippet right here, right? Now, your new event snippet should look like the screenshot right below right here. Then you click Save. And that's pretty much it. I know this is a very long tutorial. Uh, it will definitely demand you to know some stuff, right? So if you don't know this stuff, then hire someone to do this for you because it will be much easier way to uh, basically someone to do it for you. And keep in mind, you know, someone to do this for you, it's really cheap to hire someone. So definitely 
you know, hire someone if you don't know it. So hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Hope you find it valuable and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.